this is a quick overview of our new iOS app. So once you've installed MailerLite in the App Store, you can go ahead and click the icon here. Put in your email address, of course, and your password. And then all you need to do is click the login button here. And if you have two-factor authentication activated, this is the time where you can type in your code. And then all you need to do is click verify. I highly recommend you do that. And this is what you'll see when you log into your account. Of course, if you have more than one account, you'll be able to choose that before you log in. But in this case, we're just going straight to the dashboard, just as if we have one account. So here are the stats you are probably pretty familiar with. When you log into your account, this is what you will see in your web browser and also on your phone. You can, of course, click these here to see the subscribers in each month. If you go a little lower, you'll see the monthly campaign stats. All are here. I have zeros because this is a demo account. But if I go a little earlier to um, some months before, you can see how the stats change here depending on which month I choose. Then we have e-commerce performance. This is when you have integrated with your eShop. And you can also choose a different eShop if you have more than one eShop integration with your account. So we have last months, last three months, last six months. And of course, like I said, this is zero, zero because this is just a demo account. So that's that with the dashboard. The next thing we have are campaigns. Here are the sent campaigns. And just so you know, every time you see this little arrow here means that you can click and go further in. And also with the open stats, with the click, you can click on this and go deeper to see what's going on with your account. And you can also view the campaign here. There we go. We have the preview email button here. This allows us to preview the email. Let's go back. And then these are just the subject line, sender's name, sender email, and languages. Once you're done, just click Done. And let's go back. Then we have the Drafts folder. These are all your drafts. You can't currently edit them in your account, in your app. But if you've gone to the step where you're choosing recipients and you're ready to send in your web browser, in your account, and if you have left some of these drafts like that, what you'll see is this ready to send button here. And you can actually send the campaign from your phone. So just click ready to send. You can preview the, the email again. You have the subject lines here. You can send a test email if needed. Delete this email. And if you're ready to go, just confirm and schedule here. You can send it now. And what you need to do is keep holding to send this campaign, but I don't want to send my campaign down. And you can also send it later. If you click this, you'll be able to set the time, the date. So for example, let's go with Friday. Done. And if you have a premium plan, you have the delivery based on time zones options here, where you can choose the time zones. Link tracking, you can turn this on if you use Google Analytics. If not, you can just keep it off. And once you're done, just click Schedule. There we go. Your campaign is scheduled for the 13th of March. Just close it once you're done. And now the campaign is in the Outbox. You can go into this campaign again, look through it. And if you decide not to want to send it, well, you can just unschedule it. Are you sure you want to unschedule? Yes, I'm sure. There we go. Now what happens is now it went from the outbox back to the drafts and you can see that campaign here again. So that's pretty much what you can do with this here with the campaign section. Of course, you can look through your campaigns using the search option here and more and more options will be added once the app is developed further. I'm just showing you what we have now. If you've been view if you're viewing this after a couple of months, you might see some new options. All right, now let's go to the subscribers here. There we go. All of our subscribers are here. The list growth and the stats at the bottom. These are the stats for all your subscribers in your account. Then you can see the stats for the specific groups here. So if you click a, speci a specific group, you'll see the stats at the bottom for that specific group. There we go. And like I said, every time you see this little arrow going here. You can go deeper to see those subscribers. Let's go back again here. And the segments, 
very similar. These are all my segments, and I can click in to go further to see what's going on there. Now, if you go to groups, you can see this little plus button. It means you can create a new group. And if you go to all subscribers, you can add a subscriber manually. So this is for cases where, for example, someone wants you to add them to your list. You can do that here. Of course, if you're in Europe or if it's a subscriber from Europe, remember you need some kind of proof that the person wanted to be added to the list. Cancel here. And these were the subscribers. Now let's go to forms. I have one pop-up form. If I go further into this form, I can see the subscribers that were collected using this form, the email addresses of those subscribers, and I can see that it's active here. I can view the pop-up here. There you go, it's on the bottom. This is how it will look on a mobile device. And let's go back to forms. I don't have any embedded forms here yet. Let's go to promotions. And here are my promotions, very similar. I can go in. This one is paused. I can preview it. And here we go. This is how that form looks. Once we're done, let's click done. Back to forms. And that's pretty much it for the forms. And now let's look at automation. And here we go. You can search through all the automations using this search field here, of course. And let's just click at one of, on one of these automations. Here we see the status, the open rates, click rates, all the stats failed and canceled. Once you have these numbers go up, you can go in here and see those stats here. Let's go back. And on the bottom, you can see those the emails that you have in your workflow, if you have any emails, of course. If you go in here, you can see the email, you can view the campaign, preview the email. And once you're done, just click done, back. And let's go back. You can view all the campaigns here. And there we go. We went through dashboard, campaign, subscribers, forms, automations. The only thing left is if you go to the top right drop down, it's actually a drop up. You can switch your account here if you have more than one account. You can contact help by using this form here. Just put in your message here and click submit once you're done and we'll get that support query. And we're gonna just go ahead and answer it. You'll get an answer in your email. You can see video tutorials so if you're looking to solve an issue, you can also look at these videos. We have a lot of videos almost for every single feature in MailerLite. Or maybe you're just bored and you just want to learn more about MailerLite. Well, you can also look into these feature these videos then. Okay, done when you're finished. And then we have some legal policies if you're interested in that, like terms of service, anti-spam policy, security statement, privacy policy, cookies, cookies, <laughs> data processing, affiliate programs and on and on, partner expert program terms. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can also log out and that's all. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in a next tutorial and have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.